Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about a really good game that, I'm, that everyone actually hates. So this is controversial and stuff, but I actually really like Super Boy Forever. I think it's an extremely fun game. It like it's just fun. I love the art style. Art style. I'm trying to play like the spin-off being complicated being but it'll wait until I like, like order and stuff, so yeah, but anyway, let's get into potion. I love the new art style. Let's just get that on here. I love this new art style. The art style is just so good to work out and the animations are so fluid. And I love all the mini expressions that the new boy does, especially the punching and diving ones. They make they just look so nice, fluid, smooth. And just all works well. Into one great and normal to look at. Not gonna lie, I think the new art style was better than the the original Super Mikoi art style. Now that may be controversial, but come on! It is way better than the original Super Mikoi art style. It is so beautiful. Oh. And there's also many other good things about this as well. Like, guess what? You know what else is good about this game? The gameplay. The auto runner actually makes the game way more challenging than Super Meat Boy would ever be. Like, the original Super Meat Boy, holy hell, that game's challenging. For this game, this game is challenging as hell. Because you're forced to run, you can't look around and, and stuff. So it makes for more tense gameplay. That makes the experience more scary and and needing to worry more, more and and for new gameplay elements that makes it even more amazing. Now I can't admit this game is not as good as Super Meat Boy. Nowhere near near as good as Super Meat Boy because but but that's the only reason. People I think it's because they're comparing it to the original game. Because this game, yes, it is nothing compared to Super Meat Boy, but it's still not a bad game. This game, this game is still really good and and better than most games at the time right now. This game is better than any AA games at the moment. This game is better than a ton of stuff. Also, also, I do have problems with this game. I'm not saying this game is an absolute masterpiece like I normally do. Like, this, like yeah, the original Super Meat Boy was a masterpiece. This is just good. Because it still has fair problems. I really don't like the sword gameplay. The sword gameplay, like, like I'm talking about the one from World 1. The one where you have to do that. that. I really don't like that. I think it's just kind of underfunny. But, but I love some new gameplay elements like the orbs in the final world. I love those. And I love the instant death mechanic. It's also with the, combined with the auto runner, it's perfect and makes the game way more stressful and, and tough. And it's still fair. Like this game is very fair. And and when you be a level, it feels so rewarding. And it's so amazing. There's also another problem I have with this game, and that's the bomb. I really do not like the bomb in this game. Like the boss that's on right now, I really hated this boss. This boss, I say, really RNG. Like, you need to, like, have to just go right. Of objects to survive. Otherwise, 
it's basically impossible. Like, if you have the wrong one, like, 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 if you have two of, like, the middle ones at the same time, then you're dead. That's a big negative about the game. Like, I don't think a single one is but there are other stuff in this game, but at least but it makes up for the, for the gameplay in the normal level which are just oh, come incredible. It's so incredible and I love the gameplay. And also also another good thing I like is the imagining like the power of like the game in this game. Like literally, you have a boss that's a brain controlled class. Like, like how do you come up with that? Genius. And so that makes all the designs good. Yeah, good. And also, and also, some of the world are the same. I have the same name, but and stuff. And people may say it's copying from the original Super League. And that's a lie. I played the world. They're completely different. For more imaginative content. But also, don't. Also, guys. I also. But also, there's also another thing that. that Super good about this game, and that is the character. Like, yeah, it's super big boy, this kind of character, but in the, but in like in, in this game, there are so many good characters. Like in the original, yeah, you can play Dan Girl, but it's only like maybe like like a whole different. In this game, you can play Dan Girl all you want. So I can really boss right now. You can change the band of the girl and boom, fighting a big glass thing as, as a girl with band. Okay, and also the story of this game. I can agree. It's weird. We're gonna talk about the story because the only games I don't care about the story. I only care about gameplay, but yeah, but I can agree. The story is ridiculous. Stuff. And stuff. And normally, and also the comedy in this game is that it's just funny baby new thing. Yay. Funny. It isn't fun. So that's why I don't do it. Some games have amazing stories that I can definitely see. Most games are really like the story, so I'm, so I'm not going to say that that is still a negative in the game, but I don't really care for it, so I'm probably going to say that way down to people, but I don't care for that. But, but, so, but also, when the boss is, like, how, if the RNG is, like, gone and stuff, can you the RNG? I know these bosses can be fun, like, like a hole in the wall in the wall, it's amazing. They just didn't make it so awesome that you can about a black viewer. Instead of like stuff. Like that's an amazing idea. Also, the another thing I can add is that I love every world. Every world feels fresh with music and it. And it just doesn't feel the same. It always feels different and fun. Variety in the game of the stuff you can do, which is amazing. You can become like Bandit Girl and you're really fighting a goddamn thing, fire, firing lightning. It's so amazing. And every character design in this game is great. Like, Bandit Girl looks pretty good. Super Meat Boy looks incredible, and all of the bosses, very good, like that's a plus I can give the one, all the designs are incredible, that was one good boss, it's not a really good boss, but it's still a pretty solid 
boss. First one where where the guy where you have to punch the red thing. That that boss is pretty fun to do and fair and challenging. It's, it's also Ooh, beautiful mechanics. All the mechanics in this game are incredible. Except some, like the sore one. I like the sword mechanic and the side one. I've already said that I'm like hey, talking about the mechanics a lot. I just really like the mechanics. They're so good. Yeah, but, yeah, but this game will be forever amazing and should be known as a as an incredible game, not not a disappointing sequel to Super Meat Boy. That's what it should be. Chapter. That's what it should be known as. It's sad to see this really good game. Your meat. It's just sad to see, like. <laughs> Test your meat. Like, it's extremely sad to see, like, literally everyone in the Super Meat Boy community I've met literally hates this game, even though it's an actual good, hidden, good game. It's not as good as Super Meat Boy, but it's still an incredible game and I recommend it. Your meat. Because of how good this game is, I'm excited to play Dr. Fetus Mean Meat Machine. It's probably... I, but I, and stuff. I hope that the Poyo Poyo S game will, will hold up to the series Test because so far, uh, the games I've played Super Meat Boy and, Super, and this game, this is... The series is amazing, so I so hopefully Super Meat Machine keeps that amazing. Your meat. Keeps that amazing thing. 